Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to Terraria 1.23 with TrexW. We are back with Joel, our character in the 1.3 Let's Play world, and we have got a lot of stuff to cover this episode. I am back from my trip. Uh, there wasn't an episode of Trex Plays because I'm still having to edit that, and it is the 5,000 subscriber special. It is a game that I've talked about before. That and it's in the intro, the Trex Plays intro, and I currently have 54 minutes of content to edit down, which equates to 126 gigabytes on my hard drive, and I still have 26 minutes of it left to edit. So it'll probably be going up this Saturday, but it's already over 10 minutes long, and it's an extremely funny Let's Play. It's going to be great. I, I think it's very worth, very deserving of the 5,000 subscriber Let's Play. But anyways, welcome back to Terraria 1.3, a live episode. I am back, and I think everything, all the videos I uploaded last week went off without a hitch. But w there's been a couple changes, and then I've done a couple things off camera, and then there's a couple things we have to do this episode. So I will go over everything that has changed so far, starting with the house, number one. Uh, we have two new rooms. They are very sketchy, very strange looking rooms, but they are both suitable. And they will both hold two more NPCs. And so, the top... One second, I forgot to go offline. Sorry, Miltanium. Um, sorry, we'll do some video later. I hope that counts as you being in the video, maybe? But, yeah, we'll do something later. Um, but sorry, I have to go offline because I'm recording this. But anyways, we have room for two more NPCs in the house, and so as soon as we get a living wood wand, we'll be able to finish off this house. And also, I'll go over that in a second. Um, what else is there? Oh yes, I took out the platforms and replaced it with a rope, and I continued this tunnel going down. So there's that. Um... Let me think here. What else have I done? This we'll get to later. Oh, I know. I have two accessories. I got a radar and a shackle. So the shackle gives us bonus defense and some melee speed. And the radar gives us some melee speed. And it detects enemies around us. And so I found both of those just off camera. Um, and I, I really want to do everything that I can on camera. But we have so much stuff to do. And there's so much content in 1.3 that I'm not going to be able to get to it all on camera, guys. So that's why I do this off camera. But, yeah. So that's pretty much everything that's changed with the house. We have one thing to do. Oops. We have one thing to do down there, and we'll get to that later. But the plot of this episode, I'm going to go to a dark corner where nobody can hear me. Uh, he's outside. Nope, he's inside. we got to go to another darker corner. But anyways, guys. The plot of this episode is a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, indeed, a get-rich-quick a get rich quick scheme. It's going to be great. We're going to have so much gold by the end of this, and it's completely legit, too. It's just kind of sketchy. And this trick was brought to me by my friend Starkov on Steam. He told me about this little trick with a little item called Weapon Racks. And so each weapon rack costs 10 silver to make, or it costs 10 wood to make, and then it sells for 10 silver. So if you do the math, that's about 1 silver per wood. So naturally, I just spend about 5 hours of my day today collecting about as much wood as I can. And so now I have almost 3,000, excluding the Boreal and Evan wood log, uh, wood. So if we count all this up, that'd be 2,674. Yep, that's 26 gold, 74 silver, and wood right there. And so what are we going to do with all that gold? Well, when we get our arm sealer, we'll be able to m buy a mini shark right at the start of the game. We'll be super powerful b b before we even defeat our first boss. So this, this is excellent. Oop, hit the mic. We're not going to have to fight the Eye of Cthulhu with the primitive shurikens and throwing knives. We are going to be the... um the rich pretentious guy that fights with a mini shark that he got in his first week of playing yeah so that's what we're gonna do we just need to get some more wood so that we can get some more item frames because we already have six gold that I've collected just playing off camera and stuff and 
So we just need 29 more. We need about 300 more wood. And so to do to get this, we can't harvest wood from from the overworld because this wood is meant for things like building homes in Africa or expanding upon government food banks or helping build houses for people that lost theirs in a fire. So we need to, we need a much more sketchy way of getting wood. And so I've built my secret underground dope den sort of thing. This passageway down at the very bottom of our shack leads to this room right here, which should be able to grow trees. Now, we do have cops that occasionally invade, um, but they only come at night, and we can easily just kill them off. But it's it, And this room is virtually untraceable. If anybody finds it, it can't lead back to me in any way. Not even this very long, very direct passage right to my house. So yeah, th this is the perfect scheme for getting lots of gold so that we can get a mini shark, among other things. But these trees will be growing slowly uh, throughout the next few episodes so that we'll be able to continue our get-rich-quick scheme. Um, another way of getting lots of wood without being questioned about... Oh, I clicked outside the window. Sorry, guys. Uh, that started a second video, but another way to get lots of wood without being questioned about where all this quote-unquote charity money is going Is to just start new worlds, which is what I do I did occasionally But we're gonna wait for all the stuff in the panic room or not the panic room the dope den, the dope den to grow to harvest that for the final 300 or so we need Anyways a couple other changes. I have a cactus sword now that and that's a lot that's very useful. It's much better. There's a falling star. And also, speaking of falling stars, 200 mana, which I got extremely quickly. And I don't like that. I don't like that it's three stars per mana crystal. It should, I think five is perfect. Or if you're if you're as, uh, as old a player as me, you played with 10 stars. It took 10 stars to get to a mana crystal. Back in my day, it took 10 stars to get a mana crystal. But yeah, I, I don't like that it's three stars anymore. But hey... Can't get all this content without a few drawbacks. Also, I got three banners. I got a blue slime banner, a zombie banner, and a green slime banner. I don't know where to hang them. So, just you guys just tell me where to hang them, and your wish is my command. We're going to build something down here soon. Um, I'm not going to bother with that fallen star. Let me see here. What else is there? Favorited items. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go through all the loot we have. We have six gold and three silver. We also got a ton of wood. I just got off camera some sand, ice, and then ores. We got a bunch of lead and tin. Now what we're going to do with that, oh, and some platinum. What we are going to do with that is we are just going to see what we can make. I cut down hundreds of trees with my just normal copper axe. So yeah, that was tiring. Let's get some cactus so that we can make some cactus armor. Um, oh, I killed Pinky just on a new world. Uh, that's not very significant, and that's about it. So, now, let's see if we can improve our armor with this cactus, and also, let's see what type of ores we can make. How much does cactus cost? Oh my, that is so cheap. Let's get a cactus breastplate for 30. A cactus leggings, which actually have defense now, or which actually have defense as opposed to the wood ones. And now we have six defense, that's one, two, and one, 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 two. And zero. So yes, cactus armor. So much better than wood armor. I'm glad we got that. Let's see what else we can make. Um, five melee damage. Let's see here. 35% uh, pickaxe power. 35% fast speed. Fast speed. Uh, I don't know. Should we get that? Should we not? Can we make a cactus axe? Hmm. Let's see here, there's a tin helmet. Let's actually forge all of our ores. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of lead. Uh, just forge all the ores up real quick. There's platinum, and where's the tin? There it is. Sweet. Alright, and now we will see what we can make. Uh, no, I don't want to make a lead anvil. Alright, let's look through this. Let's definitely get a better axe. Ooh, a lead broadsword. This says 10 melee damage, fast speed, and there's knockback. 11 melee damage. I think I'm going to skip on that for now, but let's check out the lead bow, which is better than the tin bow by a bit. We just made some new armor, so we won't do that for now. Let's see what else we can get. Um, I should get some wood so that we can actually 
make a pickaxe and axe and stuff. Let's get that. Oh, I got some Brio wood, which is the really cool wood that everybody likes. Finally found out that that comes from the forest pine. Wait, a minecart? Any iron bar? Any wood? Ooh, that's a, that's a new accessory. We'll see. Uh, heavy workbench. We should probably get that as well uh, later. Let's see. A lead axe. That's something we definitely will want to get. How does the lead pickaxe compare? 43% um, pickaxe power. So we'll go with that. And we'll also get the lead axe. Let's try and upgrade as many of our tools. Oh, they're gone. Tin hammer. Uh, we can do that. What else? An empty bucket. We'll need one of those. Those will be useful. What else can we get with the cactus? Um, hmm. I think that's good for upgrades. So, let's recount what we just got. Uh, we spent all that lead I've mined, and we got full cactus armor, so now we're up to six defense, plus the uh, shackle. Oh, wait, no, the shackle adds to the defense. Um, we'll go and sell all this. I'm trying to get an... Oh, I know. I, there's something else extremely important that I got. Let's just sell all that. No value, really? Come on. Oh, unfavorite. There we go. Refavorite that. All right. All right. Something else extremely important that I can get that will relate to us getting a new NPC. A boom! Life first law. I've only found one so far, but I'm hoping we'll find another. So let's just use this real quick. Boom! 120 health. And hopefully we will get the nurse when the dawn comes. Dawn or dusk? Yeah, dusk. Anyways, got a cactus sword. Massive lead pickaxe, a lead axe, and a tin hammer. So that's all good. We have tool upgrades now. So now I can chop wood for our uh, charity charity money um, plan even quicker. Because that's totally what we're doing. Ch it's all for charity, I swear. We're not using any of this for personal gain. All for charity. And my mini shark. So yeah, all for charity. Let me see here. We still have plenty of cactus. I can't believe I didn't make that earlier. Um, we have something else we have to do in the desert, I remembered, that I found last week. But we'll get to that in time. So hopefully we'll get the nurse pretty soon. But now let's get to down here. We'll get back to the get rich quick scheme at the very end. Down here, I was just digging my hole. And believe me, this is just just doesn't count for anything in this large world. Um, but I was digging my hole, and I come across this cave system, and I just found it. I haven't explored it, and so we, we're going to check it out. Uh, the only things I notice is, A, we've got a demon altar, and B, we have some cobwebs. And so now, let's see what we can get out of all those cobwebs. We need, need just a few more until we're able to make a bed and set our spawn and thus live through the night. And whenever we die, we won't have to uh, scramble back to get to our house. So let's see what else we can find. Parallax, I finally found out what that does. It's for the cavern layers. And I kind of like that. It makes, you, it makes you feel like you're actually in a cavern. I don't know how many people like that. I, I, let me just say I'm glad it's a feature um, that you can alter that. Because I know... Wait. Wait, what? Does he electrocute the water? Oh. Oh. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Anyways, let's get back to our house. We're going to have to walk for a bit. But I do see some more cobwebs right down there, which means we'll need two more, and then we'll be able to make a bed. So this episode is going to be full of improvements. This is this is such a great episode. It might be a bit long, though. It's already been going for like 14, 15 minutes or so. I'm just trying to get through it. So, uh, we have a few more things to do that we will get to. But first, let's get back to this cave system and so the and also the bed. And also, we should get the nurse pretty soon. So this is a major episode. We're getting a ton of improvements done and will be done. So yeah, I'd say this is the best episode so far of this series. Um, besides the alpha testing video, of course, when I tested it back on April 1st. Yeah, that's right. Bunnies are lesser deities, man. Anyways, let's get back to the cave system as quickly as possible. 
Oh, I should probably explain what the radar does, because I don't think I did that. The radar explains how many enemies are nearby. It's kind of like a hunter po potion, except it doesn't give you a visual. It just tells you how many enemies are nearby, so you know if you're safe or not. Um, oh, and the jellyfish is gone. Sweet. Wait, 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 what is this? Is this platinum? No, it's silver. Alright, so we have silver, and I think I see some topaz that might just be enough to build a topaz hook. Which is the earliest hook you can get in the game, I believe. Oh yeah, the breath mirror changed. I don't know if I brought that up before, but it's in a different location now. Anyways, I saw a mob up there. We have three enemies nearby. Oh, oh yes. Can we get, I believe it's ten topaz. Brooke, we have four, six, oh, nine, and we got ten. We got ten. That's ten topaz. Should be able to build a hook unless it's 15. It might actually be 15. Um, hopefully it's 10, though. Come on. Come on, redigit. Say it's 10. Boom. Die material. Teal mushroom. Yeah, I like that parallax. Tell me, though, if you guys don't like the parallax on the background. Um, and I'll change it because I want you guys to have the best viewing experience you can. But let's get this silk. There we go. All right. Hey, and the nurse is here. She is probably living somewhere. We will go up there and check in a few minutes. But let's continue exploring this cave. You can't fool me with that trap. Man. Oh, dang it. Yes, you can. Um, so that's kind of a problem. We're still bleeding out for 16 more seconds. And we're slowly dying. So let's just heal up and continue with our day. I don't have real recall potions on me. That was a mistake. Got some rope though. Okay. Oh wow, 923 rope. Alright, we can get out of here. There we go. Alright. Boom. Safety. Okay, let's get out of here. And parkour away. So yeah, that was that didn't that cavern wasn't satisfying. It didn't yield any life crystals or anything. But we have a demon altar nearby. And we explored it. So let's check in with the nurse. Get it? Because nurses are doctors, and you check in with doctors. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm sorry if you hear a buzzing sound in the background. It should be very low and almost unnoticeable. But I just have my fan on because I really just need to have my fan on because it gets so hot. Is that all one house? Please don't all be one house. Uh, but I don't want her living in there because that's a big special room. Um, I don't know if we'll get to this in the episode because we're already eight minutes in. But... We have a plenty of cobwebs, so let's go up here. Let's quick stack to nearby chests. Uh, let's pull up everything else and put away the stuff that we don't need. The dye stuff goes down there. Uh, pressure plate can go in there. Ores and ingots. There's some silver ore, which is good. Uh, and topaz. Can we make a hook? Uh, let's ask the guy if we can make a hook. Um. Or if it's 15. I believe it might be 15, but let's just double check. Oh, God! Where are you? Oh, gosh, that kind of went terrible at the end. Oh, also, UI thing. I added a white border around the cur cursor when I was in the config. Dang it, it's 15. When I was in the config, so that way I have easier visibility of the mouse. And it doesn't have to be a white mouse. It can be a blue, a blue mouse. So yeah, edit that. If you guys don't know how to do that, you can probably find a tutorial. It's quite simple. You just edit it in the Terraria config, which isn't that hard to understand or find. Anyways, let's get back to it. Don't have enough topaz for a hook. Let's just stick this in there for now. Uh, tell me where you guys want these banners. Um, we'll get to the rest of this later. But for now, let's grab our silk. Let's grab our silk. Let's grab our wood. Let's grab our cobwebs. Let's head to the loom and see what we can make. So silk this up. We have six silk. Did I grab the rest of my cobwebs? Oh yeah, we only need five silk. Let's head to the sawmill and see what we can do. Weapon rack. I'll get back to that later. But there we go. This is what we want. We want a bed. Boom, baby. We got a bed. Yeah, let's actually build a bedroom real quick. This episode can be 30 minutes because who cares? You guys like longer videos. That's what you've told me. Um, hopefully it's true. We'll build a 
we'll build a bedroom. Then we'll get to the then we'll get to the no, next thing I want to do, and then we'll get to the get rich quick scheme. So, and then we'll end off the episode. How does that sound? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. This will be my bedroom. All right, let's put down some boreal wood. Oh, that looks so nice. I see why everybody likes this. I, uh, I see the light. Ah. That's my Bob Dylan impression for you guys. Uh, times, times are changing. All right. Let's see. Let's just finish digging this out. We'll get some wall down here soon. Actually, I think it'd be better if I just build this off camera. We'll just dig that out for now and stick the Briel wood down because that that really does look great. Um, there we go. Yep. All right, let's put a platform down. Ooh, Briel wood platform. That looks fancy. It's classy. All right. Uh, we'll get to that later. Let's put a bed up here just for now, though. And let's find a place to put it. If there is a place to put it. There might not be. Oh, we can put it in the merchant's room. I think there's space. Come on, move out of the way, merchant. Let me see. Space. Nope, there just barely isn't. So we'll find a place for that, though. Actually, it can fit in the guy's room. We'll just put it there temporarily so that we spawn close to our house for now. And then I'll build a bedroom off camera or something. Unless you guys want to see it, tell me in the comments quickly if you want to see the bedroom built on camera or not. Oh, we should probably set our spawn. So yeah. Come on, there we go. Spawn point set. Boom! First bed. So much progress made in this episode. This is great. Alright, let's see here. Uh, Briel, well, let's put that away. Let's put everything else away. And then we'll get back to the, uh, we'll get to the get rich quick scheme at the end of the episode. That way... Put the wood platform away, and in potions and materials, put this stuff away. Uh, also, guys, tell me where you want the banners. Now, before we get to the Get Rich Quick scheme, there's one more place we have to go. And that place is the foreboding and ominous desert. Now, we have slightly touched the underground desert, but it is massive, and we've barely made a dent into it, as you can see here. So, yeah, we still have a huge bunch or something to explore but there's something else in the desert for us to explore and here's a quick hint we didn't have one of these in the um see if the coppers are walking over the land they won't be able to see this because they can't see under the ground but anyways we didn't have one of these in Arteria 1.2 let's play world although they although they were introduced in that update you may know what i'm talking about already and of course it's kind of related to our get rich quick scheme. We have a pyramid scheme. I mean, just regular pyramid in our desert. Let's get to it. It's right over here. I built this little bridge over the uh, underground desert hole because it's dark and scary in there and there's weird things I don't know about in there. But anyways, let's get over here and we'll find our pyramid scheme. Um, it's just poking out. I noticed it last week. I'm glad I remembered. I'm glad I was able to see this. But here it is. It's right underneath this lake. So let's go over here. We'll drop a rope down in a bit because we're we are explorers of um, lands and offensive jokes and stuff. So let's just see if we can tap into the main tomb passage thing, or if it takes a ton of digging. And then I'll throw a rope down. There we go. Yep. All right, let's get a rope, and we'll climb our way back up. And then we'll act like awesome explorers. I should have blown this open with a bomb. All right, and... Oh, uh, Frankfurt, yes. Let's throw the rope down to the pyramid. Oh, yes. Oh, light the torch, Franklin. Yes, there we go. We have light in the pyramid. Oh, we are explorers. People will remember us. Ah, hey, treasure room. Let's get to the dead bodies and ogle them because we are weird, creepy old men. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. But let's just keep lining this up. We have plenty of sandstone here. That's going to be a great building material. I'll probably build a desert base at some point. Um, oh, and here's the underground jungle. So that's it for the pyramid. Let's get to the treasure room. 
because honestly that's what you guys want to see will we have a sandstorm in a bottle will we have a flying carpet will we have the lame but kind of awesome looking pharaoh's clothes who knows already i see some sacks of silver and some pots maybe we'll get a coin portal oh wow one gold from that let's grab these banners too i see the chest guys don't worry don't yell at me in the comments we'll get to that as well as the coin pouches i haven't explored much past this I just know that there's a corruption right over there. But anyways, let's see how much silver we get. Ooh, one gold, 25 silver. Ah, the pyramid scheme is paying off. We've already gotten two gold from it, but let's open the chest. Achievement unlocked. I am loot. Let's see what that is. Uh, discover a golden chest underground and take a peek at its contents. Sweet. But anyways, we got the pharaoh's robe. Uh, but we can wear it as vanity because it's cool, I suppose. Put up those goggles. Um, and we got wooden arrows, recall potions, builder potions, torch, and silver coins. Let's grab this, uh, that golden chest. We'll get some more sandstone later. Anyways, guys, that's it for the pyramid scheme. Let's use a recall potion because I have so many. And get back to our base. We spawned our bed. So now we have a quick way to get to our base. I see some money out there. I'm going to go get that. I can't wait for the and I can't wait until we get the tax collector NPC. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, what is the nurse's special defense? She throws like poison daggers or something. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. I'll build the bedroom in the next episode. But now, for what we've all been waiting for, there's no trees going here, but we do own some private trees here. Uh, let's put all this stuff away, and then we'll get to the get rich quick scheme and see just how much money we can make. And also, I really need to find a place for these banners. All, all, all of these banners, because there's so many. Um, I'll just put that away, and that away. And all right, guys, let's grab our wood. We'll leave 100 of it or so. Actually, we'll leave 500. No, we'll leave enough. We'll leave that much. There we go. So let's leave that. Let's take these two stacks. And how much gold do we have? We have six gold. So that means we need 29 more. So we have all that. Uh, let's just check here. Let's mine. Let's break down our privately owned trees. And then if we still need more gold, we will use the secret dope den to grow the rest of our trees that we need. But yeah. Um, we'll, we'll utilize the dope den. But since these trees are privately owned, nobody will be able to trace me. And henceforth, nobody will be able to link our... Um, our Get Rich Quick scheme, all for charity, back to me. Let's see here. We're, we should get about 24 gold from this. So, yeah. And we can use ebon wood and other stuff. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's replant these acorns so that we have even more. Uh, so that we're, we can save the earth and get as much money from it as possible. Because we, we are a corporate... Uh, we are a corporation... We are industry. We are the foundations of a civilization. We own this planet and everything in it because we have money. Give me the wood back. Where'd it go? There we go. That's good enough. We'll leave 200 in here. And that should cover my expenses. I can just get more from the secret dope den later. But anyways, let's get to the sawmill. Let's get... Let's open the door for efficiency. Hello, Walter. And let's get weapon racking up. Also, once again, thanks to... I just forgot his name. Stark. It's Star... Dang it! How did I just forget it? It is... Ah! I just forgot his name. Starkov. I believe is his name. Yes. Where is it? Where is Starkov? I'm looking through all my friends' list. Uh, Starkov. Where is he? Where is he? There we go. Strakov. Thanks to Strakov for the tip um, on this. Because without him, I would not know about this Get Rich Quick scheme. So anyways, let's start producing the weapon racks. Oh, man. Stacks in 99. Whoa, baby. Oh, this is great. Thanks so much, Strakoff, for this. Oh, wow. We have 255 weapon racks. And we're never going to use any of them. 
They are all going directly to my good friend Walter. Nine gold, ninety silver, nine gold, ninety silver, five gold, seventy silver. Boom! Twenty-eight gold coins! Oh, wait. Oh, man, we have thirty-four gold. Oh, okay. We actually have enough for this. We can actually... Why can't I make wood? Oh, wood platforms. Where do I have wood platforms? In there. Let's make a bunch of wood. There we go. Boom. We can get even more. We just need one more gold. And to do so, we need to get two more item frames or so. We'll just make a few more. And we should have a bit of gold or some money left over. Anyways, let's see this. Oh, we'll have the gold for a while. Ah! One gold, 29 silver. Oh, wow. 31 minute long let's play. I hope you guys are happy. Um, let's put that wood back. Where's my gold? Boom! 35 gold! 35 gold! In seconds! Oh, it took like five hours of preparation today, but I was able to watch videos the entire time that I missed while I was gone. But 35 gold! We can get a mini shark as soon as we get the arm stealer before we even fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Thank you so much, Strakov. I can't, I can't believe that that actually worked. Thank you so much, Strakov. Huge, huge shout out to him. Um, but yeah, without his tip, I would not have known about that. And we would not be 35 gold rich at the very beginning of the game. And I can just do that as much as I want. That's great. It might be sketchy, but it can't be traced back to me. I'm completely safe. We've made so much progress this episode, guys. I can't believe it. Um, but yeah, look at all that money. We got rich really quickly. And it's virtually untraceable. Wait, what was that? Oh no. Somehow they found me. Uh, I don't know how, but they found me. Uh, guys, I've got to go. This may be my last video, but... If I don't come back, just know that I love you guys and thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Oh, they're really getting angry. I better go. I'm just going to escape out the window. I'll see you guys next time if I'm still alive. Goodbye. Goodbye, viewers. Goodbye.